Today it's time to try out a bit of an experiment video on the channel, testing out a 1 at the back formation up against a 9 at the back formation. Now I just recently started a new PSG career mode series on the channel, where I'm going to be playing with a different formation every single episode. Started out with a 1 at the back formation in episode 1, and every episode you'll get to choose what formation I try out next, so if you've not already caught that series and like the sound of it, link in the description, go and check it out. For today's video though, I'm going to be testing things out with a computer versus computer matchup, just because I feel that'll be the fairest way of finding out which formation comes out on top. So representing the one at the back formation, we've got PSG. They made some absolutely brilliant signings in the summer with the likes of Neymar and Mbappe coming in. And with the attacking quality that they already had at their disposal, I just felt like they were the perfect team to represent the one at the back formation. Whilst in the nine at the back corner, we got Manchester United. Mourinho's been known in the past to park the bus in big matches, so... That's why I've chosen United, with the big man as the captain, because Mourinho absolutely loves him. So let's get into the experiment then, and let's find out which formation comes out on top. Will it be the one at the back formation of PSG, or the nine at the back of Manchester United? Plenty more experiments coming at you throughout the course of the year though, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel and want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button right now. Both teams just seem to be struggling to get into the game a bit at the moment, which I guess is to be expected when you've got 9 defenders up against 9 attackers, but there you go. PSG have got a chance here, they played that to Mbappe, he moves it on to Cavani, goes past his man, and that was very nearly the first goal of the game. Good chance there for PSG. Unfortunately for them though, Cavani can't take it and that one just goes sailing wide. I'm guessing that De Gea is just going to smash this one long from the goal kick. Or not, he's played that one short. There's one player up top against one defender. You'd think that he'd just punt it through the middle to Lukaku, but nope. Slow and steady wins the race. They're passing it around the midfield at the moment. Matic is on it, moves it over to Pogba. He plays it along to Fellaini, who moves it back to Pogba. This is really slow build-up play at the moment. Oh, here we go. Lukaku's on it. That's a good challenge, though, from Thiago Silva. They got another chance here. They played it onto Matic, turns it back, plays that across, and Fellaini can't quite get there. PSG have got a chance now, though. Can they make the most of the situation here? No, not really. But you got a tackle in there. Moves it forward to Paul Pogba. And once again, Manchester United have got a good chance here to score. Fellaini plays it through to Lukaku. And how has he not scored that one? Right then, let's see what Manchester United can do here from the corner. They've thrown a lot of men forward. Loads of players to aim for in the box, yet he's played it to the edge. And that is a terrible bit of control. PSG have got a good opportunity here. Lucas plays that one across, gets it back from Mbappe, and now they're away. Manchester United haven't really got many players back at the moment. Nine at the back formation, and yet it's their defence that costs them there. Mbappe smashes it into the back of the net. Really nice finish from the young lads. And now PSG have got the advantage. Wasn't expecting Manchester United to throw that many men forward for the corner, but there you go. They did, and it's cost them. Let's take another look at this one on the replay. Nice work there from Lucas. Moves it through. De Gea does get a hand to it, but it wasn't enough. Mbappe finds the back of the net, makes it 1-0. And what a start for PSG. They've got the lead already. So what are you made of, Manchester United? PSG have just scored. Are they going to make you look foolish, or are you going to get back into the game? Let's find out. They're just playing around the midfield at the moment. Just pump it up to Lukaku. And all he's got to do is run at Thiago Silva and score. I know Thiago Silva's a good defender, but on his own, he could be beaten. Come on, get it up to Lukaku. There we go. Nice little pass there. And look at that. He goes past his man and tucks it away. Manchester United are right back in this one. They've only just conceded, yet it's now 1-1. Nice little finish there from Lukaku. Beats his man, Thiago Silva, and goes on to tuck it away past Kevin Trapp. Keeper maybe could have done a bit better there, but yeah. It was a brilliant finish anyway. Look at that. Goes past Thiago Silva. Tries to finesse it into the corner of the net. And he's successful in doing so. Kevin Trapp's beaten. And the teams are back level. It's 1-1. Time for PSG to try and attack Manchester United again now. Then get a second goal. And why are they playing that back to Thiago Silva? They've got nine men running forwards. And yet they're playing it back to their defence. This is... 
odd, to be completely honest. They're moving it around the midfield. Come on, move it forwards. There we go. They got it to Mbappe. Goes past his man. Not a good effort, though. Straight at De Gea. Here come PSG again now, then. Pastore is on the ball. Moves it on to Mbappe. He's played it to Lucas. He's played it back to Mbappe. This is fantastic passing play from PSG at the moment. Ben Arthur moves that through. Unlucky. Why is Verratti just standing there? He's toying with Fellaini, playing mind games, and it's worked out. PSG have got a good chance here. Can they make the most of it? No. Manchester United got a foot in there. De Gea boots it clear. Up to Lukaku. He wins the header. And this is a good chance now for Manchester United. Lukaku is on the ball once again. Turns that back. Going to move it on to Fellaini. He moves it to Matic. He's going to play it back to Fellaini. What can Fellaini do here? Can he make the most of this? That was a stupid ball. Should have either gone it alone or waited for Lukaku to be in more space. Instead though, he played it straight to him when he was being marked. And of course, it didn't work. Matic is on the ball again now then. Plays that one to Pogba. It's back with Matic. He moves it on to Fellaini. Move it forward to Lukaku, mate. He was in so much space there. Here we go. He's back on the ball again. Up against Thiago Silva. Moves it to Pogba. It's back with Lukaku. Come on, Pogba. Not a good effort there. Decent save, to be honest, from Kevin Trapp, but he shouldn't have had the chance to save it. It should have just been smashed into the back of the net. The big Belgian's on the ball now then. Plays that to Matic. It's back with Fellaini. He's going to shield his man there. Plays it back to Matic. Decent ball through there to Lukaku, but what a challenge from Thiago Silva. Coming up to half-time now then, and PSG have got a good opportunity here. Cavani's been played through, and he's just missed that one. De Gea made that difficult, to be fair. He came out to meet Cavani, didn't give him much space, and he did just enough to put him off. Cavani has put that one wide. Four shots, two on target for PSG. Every shot on target for United. 1-1 one, one at the break. Everything still to play for in the second half. Here come PSG now then, looking to break down that nine at the back defence of Manchester United. They've somehow kept possession there. Don't know how. Looked like United have got a tackle in, but the ball is back with PSG. I don't know why he's played that there, but nearly worked out. Mbappe just misses. Could have been 2-1. Very close to being 2-1. Unfortunately for PSG though, Mbappe can't quite find the corner. Come on United, find Lukaku once again. He's looking for it, but no one's giving it to him. Anyway though, Matic, come on. This time, no, nope, still not playing it to Lukaku. Okay, Pogba's on it now. Plays it on to Matic. And Fellaini is the one making the run. Where is Lukaku? I think he's drifted out left. And Fellaini can't make the most of the situation. If that was Lukaku, probably would have been 2-1. Ben Arthur's on it now then. Who's he going to pick out here? Plays it forward to Mbappe. Really nice turn there. Goes past his man. And then decides to play it short. Didn't quite work out. It's with Verratti now though. He moves it on to Pastore. Who picks out Lucas. And this could be a good chance for 2-1. Cavani's on it. Lays it across the face of goal. But... No one was in the middle, unfortunately. Fellaini booted it out of play, and it looks like Mourinho didn't like that decision. He's instantly subbing him off. Matic is on it now then, pokes that one through to Pogba, and this looks really promising for United. That was not the right pass, though. Pogba's on it now then, turns his back on his man, but didn't really work out for him. PSG have won the ball back. It's with Neymar at the moment. He plays it forward, finds Mbappe, who moves it back to Neymar. Nice passing play from PSG here. Neymar is back on the ball. Ball rolls his man, moves it through to Verratti, and that should have been 2-1. I'm not entirely sure how he's missed that one, and instantly he's getting subbed off. The manager's not happy with that miss, and to be fair, I wouldn't be either. I'd probably do the same thing. Verratti, that should have been 2-1. It should have been the winner. Manchester United are still in it though. And here comes Valencia now, bombing forward. Whips that one over to the back post. And he's missed. I thought that was the moment when Manchester United stole it. A minute ago, Verratti should have made it 2-1. And I thought that was going to be 2-1 to Manchester United. United play that one to the edge of the box. Didn't quite work out for them in the first half. It's what cost them a goal. And it could happen again. Come on, United. This could be a late winner here if you can play this right. That... Isn't quite the right move though, is it? PSG have punted that one up to Neymar. And this could be 2-1 to PSG now. Look at this. 2-on-1 situation. Moves it through to Mbappe. And he's just about squeezed that one through. PSG have picked up a winner right at the end of the match. Manchester United could have got a winner themselves. It's gone back up the other end though. Once again, De Gea got a hand to it. Once again though, it's not enough. 
Mbappe's got two goals, PSG have got two goals, and it looks like they're going to win the game 2-1. PSG did indeed go on to win the game 2-1, but I've just been editing the footage back and I really felt the need to re-record this outro. Check this out. The ball goes through Mbappe's left leg to get to his scoring foot, so I can't help but feel like Manchester United have been slightly cheated there. They had more possession, better passing accuracy. Ultimately though, the ball went through Mbappe's left leg, found his right foot, he found the back of the net, and PSG have picked up a win. Maybe don't deserve it, but there you go. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you again next time.